Hey, what's up, guys? It's Phone Takeover here with another video, and this one, guys, I'm going to be reviewing a program called Phone Rescue. It's really essential for your device because you can recover a lot of stuff from your phone or stolen phone, lost backups, as well as pictures you deleted. Um, so, uh, iMobi sent me the program, and they sponsored this video. Um, so, as always, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys. So it shows you here, guys. It's available for both Windows and Mac platforms, so you can use windows and macbook for this as well as guys if you want to buy it it shows it gives you a 60 day money back guarantee so if you like the program or something you can just ask for a refund and if you click on buy now it costs um so it costs 50 50 bucks if for license for one computer family is 69 they've got plenty of packages and business license up to 10 computers 100 200 bucks basically all right guys so that's the program phone rescue it's loading here and as you can see guys it shows me this uh, screen that i'm supposed to put my phone in airplane mode as well as that itunes is not supposed to be open but it closes it may automatically once i plug in my phone so now guys i plugged in a phone but um yeah so it takes like three to four five, five seconds let's say until it reads it but as you can see here guys it's showing me that i'm supposed to trust the computer uh, because i'm doing it on another pc not mine and uh so yeah so i click on this i know but here guys i'm supposed to click on trust on the phone itself so it requires unlocking the phone and just trusting the computer itself so now i did it and now here's the program so it shows here down that your phone iphone is connected and as you can see guys use this to recovery mode your device works properly in case and detected phone rescue this is the regular recover ios device so this is the one that it can recover lost data due to mistaken deletion. The deletion forgets screen passcode. Yeah, I think for this one you should know your uh, iCloud account or your iTunes. Uh, device screen is damaged. Okay, so you can control your phone. That's really handy. Have a broken screen. So device is broken, unresponsive. That's cool as well. In iTunes, you can uh, recover your device lost at say, so you can recover backup or your device is damaged. So uh, that's quite good useful actually guys because it happens your device unable to connect to iTunes into iTunes this one will help it um well, as guys with iCloud so your device is lost as well or you have you have your data on data on iCloud so basically it can get your data back no iTunes uh, or iTunes backup available so or virus virus infection but I think it I, iOS devices really catch viruses as well as guys here in common scenarios so iOS or upgrade failure um this one can happen sometimes older devices even newer stuck on white Apple logo happened to iOS 10 brick devices unable to start iOS and device recovery mode so it really happens sometimes and um, you know, some devices break here guys you can choose the format of the file uh you want to export so let's say WhatsApp here you have HTML or text you can cl click one of one of these and just uh, yeah, choose an export path and you go. So for your cover from iOS device, guys, you just click on the green arrow and you can pick everything. You can click basically what you want and uh, depending on your device and your memory, uh, it's gonna take, you know, uh, time. So uh, for example, I'm using here an iPhone 6, 16 gigs, almost empty. So it's supposed to be fast here. As you can see guys, so it finished here and it's analyzing your, my device basically, setting it to wait. Uh, yeah, so usually guys it takes time. So it took 30 seconds to actually uh, get the data from my device So on other devices it may take up to five minutes because I tried uh, my main device 64 gigs uh, Almost entirely used. So as you can see guys here are the contacts. So for example Shows me some contacts here. I can recover This one has no contacts though. So that's the thing and no, that's the only note I have so as well as if you want to export it, guys, just click down at the bottom in the right corner and uh, yeah, it's recovered. So now it took me back all the way to the initial screen. So you should avoid doing that, guys, because it takes some time to read with that. So I'm going to skip as well. All right, guys, so here's my device again. It took 18 seconds this time, not 32. So uh, because I think that the program remembers my device a bit, so it was faster. And it shows me the data again. So photos, I've got two photos on the device. Thumbnails, same thing. Um, app documents. So I've got the Temper Run 2 game data here. So it's only 48.68 kilobytes. And I've got no other apps. So yeah, it makes sense. So, so yeah, it's pretty useful, guys. So let's say photos. I want to export a photo. And just click on this right bottom corner th button there. And it recovers. And just I'm going to click on the folder, export folder. So it's going to take me to the folder that exports to so as you can see here here are the things that were exported 
So um, for example, if I click on notes, I'm gonna get the t.html file, which I just exported now. I'm gonna have to go or so, so yeah, I can have it here. So it's now in my PC. Um, so say photos here, 2.3 megabytes. So it exports the photo and the entire size to 2.2 megabytes here for this photo. I'm just gonna open it here. As you can see, that's the picture I took. And here guys, in recover from iTunes uh, backup here guys, I'm just gonna click on that. So it shows me my iPhone. So it, that's a previous uh, backup. I did 11.2.5 and 6.9 gigs. And the other one's just 24.60. So uh, you can click on that guys, for example, let's say, and uh, I can just compare it. So I'm gonna click on the arrow. Uh, pointing right though, so that a comparison here guys I'm just gonna use all this kind of backup or just compare if you click on compare Just gonna compare your data and show, show you guys if you have anything different anything close like uh, Basically, let's say you did a backup and you deleted WhatsApp for example, you lost your history. So this is gonna bring it back So here guys it shows you the data. So uh, Safari for example beta Apple, so it's, a, it's the same thing basically and recover from iCloud guys um, you're supposed to log in. Yeah, so guys, an iOS repair tools is quite handy because I, for example, have an iPhone 5 that's actually stuck at the loading screen. The Apple logo appears and it says connect to recovery mode and stuff. So it didn't work with iTunes. They tried a lot, but with this program, it obviously will work. So I will try it. As well as guys, iOS backup is quite handy. All right, guys. So that was Phone Rescue. Hope you guys liked it. Um, it's available for both Windows and Mac, as I said, and uh, it's really useful. Uh, I'm going to link it down in the description if you want to buy it. So as always guys, hope you like the video, subscribe for more content, peace out.